Good morning and welcome. It is Friday the 27th of May. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you're all very, very well. All right, you'll be pleased to know, regular viewers, I'm feeling a little bit more lively today. We're good to go. Uh, yesterday was not It's not a good day. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Wednesday night, well, Wednesday afternoon and night, it was, it was a long day. It was a long session and uh, don't do it very regularly. Uh, when I do, try and go hard. Um, anyway, that's me. I'm back I'm back to normal today uh, and uh, we've got a normal stake in day. So it's two bets with a bit of complication. So it's a £20 stake, but it's only eight races and 10 horses. Um, so that is coming up. Before that, I'll do the review of yesterday and then we'll do a word on the golf. OK, yesterday... Um, Frustrating, we had two lucky 15s, two places in each. Uh, three places in one would have given us a profit, but we didn't get there. So, first off, we've got Hey Mister, which has ran poorly, finished last. Melody Shah was competitive, uh, was second. Um, Econox was second. And then Kalahari Prince got done near the line, looked like it was going to hold for third, didn't get it. Um, so, that's the difference between profit and lost. Uh, for yesterday so that was bet one we got placed double and then a really annoyingly here uh tingaran express was really disappointing then we had lighthouse lady and lightning star both place no oh, sorry lighthouse lady got uh beat lightning star was placed third and well joey was third um at 16s and 18s respectively so yeah the first two got turned over and the next two went and placed at nice prices so just the way it goes, sometimes uh, frustrating and you could have gone, well, would I have put those four others together in the same bet? No, I wouldn't have done so. So I did it the way I did it. And I was happy with what I'd done. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it wasn't to be. So I've got that as yesterday. Let me just double check. Uh, 15 on 8.25 back. So a 6.75 loss. Um, so I think we are now five days in a row. I think we've lost Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, if you are a new viewer, uh, this is normal. Those people who've been here a long time, they get this. There was you know, somebody commenting yesterday. They were worried about how much disposable income I've got. Um, I'm, I'm not into that right now, so you don't have to worry about the, uh, the level of disposable income. So, uh, yeah, that was all right. Uh, so... Yeah, it's uh, it is what it is. We've, we have lost days. Uh, yesterday, interestingly, you know, those of you who've been around a while know Thursday's been our best day, and yesterday uh, we lost on a Thursday. If you'd gone the previous four Thursdays, you'd be 150 up, uh, but not yesterday. Um, so, just the way it goes sometimes. So, uh, what have we got today? Uh, two bets. Starting off with this one, we've got uh, one at Chepstow, three at Limerick. Um, so in the 525 Chepstow, Zillion, 18 to 1. And then the next three are all at Limerick. So we've got 640, Seskin Flyer, 20 to 1. Then we've got the 740, uh, Mama's Little Star, 15 to 2. And then the 810 Limerick, Evec Espoir, which we took last time when it placed. So that's a 20p each way lucky 15. We've got a 50p each way single on the top one, Zillion. And then we've got a 50p each way double on Seskin Flyer and Evec Espoir. So hopefully that's clear. This bet specifically is probably right now best on Bet365. Um, so uh, that's only paying two places. These are all paying five with most bookies. Prices wise, Bet365 look best for these right now. So if you've got the option of, of choosing bookies, best prices, same place terms. And the main difference is you'll get best price guaranteed. So... This bet, if you've got choice, bet 365. But generally what I would say at the moment, this bet does look better um, anywhere but Sky Bet because um, the place terms are currently the same. There might be non-runners and it changes at Limerick. But place terms are currently the same, um, but you'll get best price guaranteed everywhere but Sky Bet. So this is best elsewhere, is what I'm saying right now. As long as you're getting five places on those Limerick races. Then bet two is definitely at the moment best Sky Bet. So if you've got the option to mix it, this one I would do sky bet right now. Um, so we've got two races at Fairy House and two at Haydock. And this looks quite straightforward. It might be a bit of a faff to put it on though. Um, so we've got the 550 Fairy House, Jafal, um, been trimmed in a little bit. Could have got sevens last night, but we'll still take five. It's not It's not a great price though. Then 625 Haydock, we've got two Cusack and Terminator. 
then the 750 fairy house inventor 11 to 2 and then 825 hey dot we've got two helvation and phoenix star i can never spell phoenix so that's why i've done that the wrong way. just one of them things that's a word i never spell right um so i've done it as four times 10p each way lucky 15s so hopefully that's clear enough that basically in all the lucky 15s you've got the two fairy house horses and then in one lucky 15 you've got Cusack and Helvation. In one you've got Cusack and Phoenix Star. In one you've got Terminator and Helvation. And in one you've got Terminator and Phoenix Star. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so at the moment the top three races are six on Skybet and the bottom one's five. That is best you'll find anywhere at the moment. But if there are non-runners it will trim it down. But right now if you want the extra places which might be helpful on some of these races this is best on Skybet. So hopefully that makes clear. So I'm, say, I'm saying if you've got the choice, put the bets on in different places um, to maximise your, your opportunity. So that is that. And then word on the golf, um, Dutch Open, Li Hao Tong's absolutely tearing it up this morning. So I'm just checking, is it on the front nine, five birdies and an eagle. So he's now tied for a lead. So he's nicely in contention. Unfortunately, the other two, Jameson and Kanazari is for the lucky fifth, well, lucky, probably the pattern bet, sorry. Not doing so good. Um, Colin Montgomery had a reasonable round in the Senior PGA Championship, but he's got a bit of work to do to make up some ground. And in the Charles Schwab, uh, Kevin Nars the best one so far. Three under, tied for ninth. But then we've got um, Grillo and Palmer not far off, uh, one under. Uh, Aaron Rise, OK. He's about uh, just ahead of mid-pack at one over. And then Kevin Tway started great. Uh, as a 500-1 to one shot hitting birdies on holes one and two that he played. Um, which was, uh, I think, yeah, that was one until he played. But he's now three over, so he, he's got work to do to make the cut. So all in all, not too bad on the golf. Um, so, I mean, clearly, if, if if it finished right now and we had Li Hao Tong tied for a lead, we'll take that. OK, um, that's what I've got. So I will be back in the morning, as I am every day. Although next week I will flag to you early. Um I'm likely to not have a video on Thursday and Friday. I'm away for a couple of days. And I think given the fact I've made a video every single day since the 10th of January without fail and sometimes two videos, I'm feeling that maybe two days next week. Um, so I just need to factor in what's going on with the Oaks and the Derby. Um, but I'm likely to not have a video next week, Thursday, Friday. So I'm likely to have a bumper video Wednesday, then leave it and then back on Saturday. But... I'll finalise that and I'll tell you near the time. But at the moment, I'm here every day. Um, cool. That's it. Any questions, any queries in the comments. I appreciate we've hit a bit of a flat spot. Most of you are cool with that. Those of you who, who aren't, you just need to evaluate what you want to carry on. But like I said, I think we're down about, ooh, about 30 quid in the last 10, 11 days. But the, if you go one day before that, we made more money than we've lost in the last 10 or 11 days. So... It is what it is. You've got to keep your nerve in this game. And the point is, we're not chasing anything. We're not having to increase our stakes. We're just going steady as they go. Um, and uh, and hopefully, in the next few days, we'll hit a nice win day again. Um, that would be good for all of us. All right. Enjoy your Friday. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.